first of all, you need to take the photo of your hands and upload it onto your computer, import it into PowerPoint, and use the Remove Background tool to get rid of the part of the image that you don't want. If you use the Mark Areas to Keep, you'll be able to select which parts of the image you want the, image, the computer to keep, and you can use the Mark Areas to remove to draw lines on the bits of the image that you don't want to keep. The computer is quite intelligent in knowing which bit um, you're referring to, so you can draw a line on a certain section and it will automatically know which bits to remove. So the first animation I'm going to show you is swipe left. It's very simple. First of all, you need to create a, um, some text which you're using to fly in from the left and then you want to animate your hands to coincide with the animation of the text. So first of all, um, a path using an up arrow um, to meet where you want the image to touch the screen and then a separate animation dragging to the left. I prefer to do it in two separate animations so it's easier to time. Now go onto your animation pane and set all of the animations to start with previous and then select the timing of them so that the hand and the text move left at the same time. So just set the um, duration to something that you think is going to look best and then give it a go. The second animation I'm going to show you is called scroll down and for this I'm going to put two pieces of text together so I'm going to group them so select both of them and click Control G and then you'll be able to animate them as one piece of text. Use the down arrow and then specify where you want the text to land. So put the red dot in a position so that the second line of text lands where the first line of text starts. Now you want to create a mask behind and um, on top of the text. So create two rectangles press Ctrl D to duplicate them and then you want to set the colour of the rectangles to the same colour as your background so that you can't see the rectangles. Use the, uh, the colour dropper tool. Okay, so now we need to animate the hand so that you've got the touch screen effect. So choose a hand and then you want to start it off the screen. So it's going to start underneath the slide and you want an animation to move, move the arrow upwards, select the red dot and set the uh, hand where you want it to land. And then you want another animation to so click add animation and you want a down animation. Make sure the red dot is starting where the, the green arrow is from the previous animation. So basically you want to make sure that where it ends is where it starts for the second animation. Now using the animation pane you want to time those animations so that they work together. Picture 14 represents the hand, so you first of all you want the hand to move upwards and then after that you want group 1, which is the text, to coincide with the hand moving down. Make sure the timing of them is exactly the same. And test it out. Perfect. So the next animation is called a drag and drop and you can use this for graphs, images and lots of other things. It's a very effective tool. Copy the image that you want to use and you want a translucent effect. So on the 3D image settings, click um, materials and then click a transparent or translucent effect. And what you're going to do is make it look like a transparent image is being laid on top of a square and then it's going to be plonked into place. So you want the original, the transparent image to start off the screen and then you want an up arrow to drag it on top of the square you want, where you want it to land. As soon as that animation is complete you want the animation, um, you want this, the image to then disappear and then you want the crystal clear image to appear at the same time so it actually looks like it's being dropped into place. So the red arrow there is it disappearing and then the green arrow there is the other one appearing. Make sure you set all of them to with previous. Choose a hand that you think would be best for the animation. 
and if you just put that hand on top of the transparent image you can use a tool called Animation Painter so that you just copy the animation that you've created for the transparent image um, over to the hand. So Animation Painter and then click on the hand and the, and the animation will be transferred. But you don't want to have the hand disappear. So get rid of it, disappear, delete that and you want to add an animation to the hand. You want it also to move downwards. So on the um, animation tools, click down and then set the red dot, which will be down here. Set, sorry, the green dot. You want the green dot to be where the red dot is of its first animation. So effectively, where the first animation ends is where the next animation starts. Make sure you set with previous and set it to happen at the end of the first animation. And voila! If you like this animation, then uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I will be adding a downloadable file to the description below in the coming weeks. So um, stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time.